Hey traders, today in this video we are going to be talking about how you can detect bullish pin bar and bearish pin bar candlestick patterns like this on the chart using Pine Script. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we should do before diving into the code is we should talk about how does the bearish and bullish pin bar forms so that we are we define our code correctly. So in case of pin bar candlestick one thing that we know is that the body of the candle should be very small and the shadow should be very large so this one here would be a bearish pin bar in which there is a very long shadow at the top and a very small body and a very small shadow at the bottom similarly this one here would be a case of a bullish pin bar in which there is a very small body at the top and a very long shadow at the bottom so this one here is a bullish pin bar this one is a bearish pin bar now in our code we will be using these conditions that the upper shadow should be very big and the body should be very small to define a code for our bullish and bearish pin bar now let's go ahead and define our code section by section so that you can understand it completely so if we go towards the pine editor here then one let me just remove this indicator so now i'm gonna go ahead and paste the first section of our code that we'll be needing and in the first section we will be taking inputs and calculating rsi so in case of rsi we need the source and the uh, input length of the rsi so here we are taking the rsi input of length that is 14 we are giving it a default value 14 then we are calculating the rsi and then we are defining the rsi or bought and or sold conditions so in the ta.rsi using the ta.rsi function and assigning it the close as source and rsi length as we took input here we can calculate the rsi and then we are defining our rsi or bought and or sold conditions and the second thing that we have to take is we have to get the inputs for detecting pin bar candlesticks. So in detecting pin bar, as we, let me just go ahead and draw this on the chart so that it's easier for us to understand. So in pin bars, as we saw, there is a long shadow, but a very small body at either top or bottom, depending upon the type of the pin bar. So we will be taking the input of this body ratio, which will tell PyScript how much percentage of the overall body or overall range of the candle should this body be in this case here as well how much percentage of overall range of the candle should this body be and we are giving it a default value of 0.3 0 0.3 which is going to be 30 percent of this overall range so in our pin bars the body of this candle these bullish and bearish pin bars is going to be less than 30 percent of overall range of the candle the second input that we're taking is upper shadow and lower shadow and we will be using these upper shadows and lower shadows to compare the body with the shadow so we we want our shadows to be larger than these bodies of these counts so we'll be giving it a multiple of the body so that we can verify that the shadow at the top in case of bearish panel and uh, bearish candlestick pattern and the shadow at the bottom in case of this bullish pin bar is very big so we are giving it a default value of two that is going to be the upper shadow and the lower shadow should at least be 60 percent of the overall range of the candle so these are the inputs that we are taking now let's go ahead and proceed towards the calculations and in the calculation of our bullish pin bar we will be using this code that defines the conditions for detection of the pin bar now again let me just go ahead and draw the candle on the chart so here we are drawing and uh, detecting the bullish pin bar and then we can go ahead and draw this here so in the the first thing that we are doing is we are calculating the body size of this candle so we are doing close minus open and in closing it within the math.abs so that we always get a positive value so here we are saying that open minus close or close minus open will give us the body per, uh, body size of this candle then we are calculating the total range of the candle by using this high 
minus this low this variable here then we are calculating the lower shadow of the candle and since this is going to be a bullish pin bar the lower shadow will be open minus low so this open minus this low will be the lower shadow and this upper shadow is going to be high minus close this high minus this close is going to be our upper shadow we will not be using this in the calculation here but we'll be using it later so now let's go ahead and jump towards the conditions for successful detection of bullish pin bar so first condition as we define is that the body size should be less than the body ratio multiplied by the total size so what this means is the overall body size the overall size of this body should be less than 30 percent of the total range of the candle which is from here to here okay so we are giving it 30 percent or less so it will all this body will always be 30 percent or less than the overall range of the candle and the second condition that we are assigning is the lower shadow that is this one from this low to uh, open to low will always be greater than or equal to the lower shadow ratio that we have defined here that is going to be 2 multiplied by the body size so whatever the body size of the candle is we want this lower shadow to be two times of the body of this candle so this is the condition for detecting the bullish pin bar we will be using the similar conditions for the bearish pin bar only we will be reversing the shadow we will be shifting from the detection of bottom shadow to the top shadow so if we look at this bearish pin bar we can go ahead and draw this bearish pin bar here and we are doing the similar thing we are getting our body size we are calculating a total body size we are getting the upper shadow and the lower shadow for this bearish pin bar and then we are again saying this overall body of the candle should be less than 30 percent of this overall range and also we want to say that upper shadow that is this one from here to here should be greater than or equal to the upper shadow ratio that is to multiply it by this body size so whatever this body size is we want this upper shadow to be two times the size of this body so these are our conditions for detecting the candles and now we can go ahead and plot our candles onto the chart so let me just go ahead and paste this code here so using the plot shape function you can also plot the labels but i'm here using the plot shape function so here we want to check whenever the conditions that we have defined in the functions of bullish and bearish pin bars are correct and the rsi is or bought or oversold depending on the candle then we want to plot a label and a shape so here we are saying uh, we are assigning this plot shape a series of is bullish a pin bar and then we are saying is rsi less than rsi oversold so we want to check if the market is oversold or not and if both these conditions are true then we want to plot this label similarly in this case here we want to plot a bearish pin bar in case if rsi is overbought and the bearish pin bar is being detected let me just go ahead and save this and then we will be adding this to a chart so here we can see that the indicator is not detecting the candlestick patterns correctly and i put this error in for purpose just to make you understand the candlestick pattern a little bit better so here we see that this is a valid bullish pin bar candlestick pattern but this one is not because here we see the body is too close to the bottom for this to be a bullish pin bar so now let's go ahead and change some conditions so that this indicator works correctly let's go ahead and make our changes so that we can remove these errors so here we want to define a condition and we want the upper shadow to be less than or equal to the 20 percent of the overall range of the candle so we are going to say 0 0.2 multiplied by the overall body the total size of the candle now let's go ahead and save it and now this candle should not be detected as you can see because we are saying we want the upper shadow to be less than 20 percent so we can put this same condition in our bearish pin bar and here we want the lower shadow to be less than 20 percent of the overall body so we can go ahead and define our condition lower shadow 
to be less than 20% of the overall range of the camera. So now most of the errors that we were seeing in detection of this uh, bearish pin bars will also get removed. And here we are seeing this bearish pin bar. And you, as you can see, it meets all our criteria for the detection of bearish pin bar. So this is how you can use the code and program your own indicator. You can also for sure add other confluences to make this indicator work even better. So this is how you can detect your bearish pin bar or bullish pin bar using PineScript. See you in the next video. Thank you.